You go into your shower feeling, but as soon as you reach for the Irish Spring, your day immediately gets better. That crisp, fresh, unmistakable Irish Spring scent zings your brain and awakens your senses. So when you finally emerge from the shower, 37 minutes later, because you pay the water bill so you can stay in there as long as you want, you're ready to take on the day and smell great doing it. Irish Spring Body Wash and Bar Soap. Fresh, green, Irish. Shop now at Walmart. From the Delta Sky Club. Welcome back, Ms. Klein. To the Jet Bridge. Delta Airlines relies on 5G solutions from T-Mobile for business to power operations and serve customers faster. Together, we're putting 5G into the hands of ground staff so they can better assist on-the-go travelers with real-time information throughout the airport. This is elevating customer experience. This is Delta Airlines with T-Mobile for business. Take your business further at T-Mobile.com slash now. How's Brian Burns doing? And did we, we saw he didn't practice yesterday. Uh, yeah, he'll practice today. Yeah, Illuminar still won't practice. So, and then Dory, Jamie, and Ty. Do you expect to take Illuminar up to game time, or do you expect to know today? No, uh, we'll see. We'll see where we're at today. He's not doing much. He did a walkthrough. Uh, I think he'll be okay, but can't guarantee it. How do you feel about your cornerbacks at this point? The guys who were banged up of, of their chances of playing? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see today. Um, did some stuff yesterday. We'll do some more stuff today. I can't let it, get, let it go another day here and see where they're at. It seems like Dory, he's still got the neck. I don't think he'll make it. Um, the other two guys, not sure if they will. How, how do you feel about the fact that Evan has to go in without him? You're going to say you're confident, but what makes you confident in him if he has to play? Well, I have a significant challenge ahead of him with Watt lining up over there. So, look, he's done everything he can do to you know, be as prepared as he can be, and we have to go out there and, and do it. But certainly a, a tough challenge is to be the first time out. Settled on that start of the week. What do you see yeah, this week? I'd say we're still we're going to make the decision here after practice, but we're going to let those guys. We, they've kind of split reps as we've went here through through practice, um, and we'll do that again today. What advice do you give somebody like say Deontay Banks to go against a player like George Pickens, who even when he's covered, you know, yeah, he he you know he's still a threat to yeah. make you know to make plays. Yeah, I think it's been like that every week we played so far with uh, the players that we've played against. So, again, I think Jerome does a, does a really good job with those guys. Um, you know, an exceptional receiver is, is tough to defend. It's like a scorer in basketball. They're going to get their points. Or they're going to get their targets and their catches. And you got to do a good job of the game plan. Everybody, you know, is involved in that as well. But Jerome does a good job with those guys. Certainly a challenge. He's a heck of a player. Most of them just like where it's those moon balls. Do you have yeah. to do something here to practice? And yeah, you, you try to give the best look you can, um, but he's he's excellent at it. Like I said, he's, I mean, the numbers are, are pretty interesting in terms of 20-yard touchdown passes over the last five years. He's right up there at the top. Uh, got great arc and pace on the ball. Gives the guys chances. Um, I've seen that plenty when we've we went against them. So, and then you add the, the players that they have and picking. Go ahead and give him a chance. Um, you, know, you have to be tight on these guys. Based on what we saw in Hard Knocks, one of the reasons that you wanted Shane Bowen was, I think you even said to him, can you fix our run defense? Yeah. You we're impressed with his run defenses in Tennessee. So you guys being last in the league in yards per carry, how do you fix that? How much of a concern is that? Because obviously his scheme is able to do it. So Yeah, no, um, look, that's last week was uh, some big numbers too against it with some big runs. We've got to eliminate some of those explosives and, and continue to improve on tackling. Um, but that'll be, you know, that's a challenge every week. And, and how the game's going is also, um, you know, part of that as well, too. We've got to do a good job in early downs of, of building walls, setting edges, but it's a complimentary game, too, um, where they just can't keep running the ball if they're up, whatever they are up. So it's a, it's a team thing. Left tackle, you went through the whole offseason with Josh, basically as the backup left tackle. 
So it would just be surprising, I guess, if you bring a guy in and a week later he may start over him. So just what what's caused that sort of uncertainty in your mind? Yeah, look, we, we, we thought, you know, Chris was a good addition, um, you know, a veteran player. Again, we'll make we'll make end up making the decision. Um, you know, confidence in both those guys. They've been they've been battling back and forth here for these last couple of days and uh, you know, whatever we think is, is best for this game, that's what we'll do. We talk so much about Watt, but high step. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you, and again, you have to, and then they play, you know, usually seven guys behind it. So the more you keep in and you only have three guys out, you know, and you're jamming, you can only help so many people because then you add Haywood to the mix too. Um, you can only help on so many people. We're going to have to do a good job of, of using technique and blocking them, but, um, you know, you could use help on, on both those edge players as many times as, as you can get it, you just gotta, it's a give and take here based on what they do coverage wise with how many people, the more people you keep in, the more people um, they have defending, the less people you have out. It's, you know, it's a chess why they're so good on defense. Um, they got really good personnel and they're uh, very well coached fundamentally. Probably maybe the best run defense in the league. How, when you go into a game knowing it's probably not gonna be easy, obviously on the ground. Yeah. To have to stick with it, like, what's your? Do you have a mentality of that? Where yeah, even if it might not go good on the yeah. first drive, second, you have to stick with it. Yeah, um, I think that depends on on how the game's going. Uh, it's always a challenge, you know, when you're when you're calling plays and you're getting zero or ones, um, and then it's long yarded situations, and then you know they're pass rushers. It's it's a give and take. You, you know, we're gonna have to do a good job of of trying to control the line of scrimmage. Um, they're, they've been really good at it forever, however long they've, they've been there since we've played them. Um, but that's, they're, you know, there's no way around. They're, they're good. We're going to have to do a good job of, of blocking them. I know different rehabs call for different things. Has Tavon been around here? Yeah. Uh, has he been able to do anything or just? He's got the. Yeah, you know, just meetings and yeah, stuff? Yeah. Do you feel better? Oh, sorry, yeah. I don't know. Did you have, growing up, did you have a favorite baseball team growing up in a, not in a major league city? Like Yeah, not, not, in, not in a major league, but uh, my grandfather, he was, a, uh, he was a huge baseball guy, and his team was the Yankees, so, um, you know, living with him in his house, you know, he, he'd watch the Yankees, and he'd watch the Braves, because that's, that's the other team that was on, you know, on the channel that we had, so, uh, but you know, we were Yankees. You feel back to football, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Do you feel better about Devin Singletary this week? It seemed like last week he was still sort of, you know, we were kind of easing in, or he was still not quite 100 percent. Yeah, yet. feel good about Devin. Yep. You expect him to have a bigger workload, maybe? Than he did yeah, I'd say I'd say all three of the backs are going to play, um, just like we talked about last week. I have confidence in the three of those guys, and based on how the game's going, we'll see. You know, we'll see who has more of a role, less of a role, but but all three of them will play. You go into your shower feeling, but as soon as you reach for the Irish Spring, your day immediately gets better. That crisp, fresh, unmistakable Irish Spring scent zings your brain and awakens your senses. So when you finally emerge from the shower, 37 minutes later, because you pay the water bill so you can stay in there as long as you want, you're ready to take on the day and smell great doing it. Irish Spring Body Wash and Bar Soap. Fresh, green, Irish. Shop now at Walmart. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick Chubb, running back for the Cleveland Browns. Abercrombie's NFL partnership kicked off last year, and if you haven't shopped there recently, I'll tell you exactly where to start. First, Abercrombie's denim quality is unmatched. I'm a fan of their loose jean, and it fits me just the way I want it to. Make sure to hit up Abercrombie's essential collections for tees and their best-selling popover hoodie. I love rocking out on game day, or really any day. Shop Abercrombie to see what everyone's talking about. 